Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. It's Friday, May 19th, 2023. Early this morning there in New York along the Hudson River, there was a magnitude 2.2 earthquake. 1.53 a.m. Did you feel it? Did it wake you up? Or were you already up? I drew out some of the historical earthquakes that have occurred there in New York uh, from the University of Columbia. Back in uh, 1985, close to this same location, there was a magnitude 4.0. Here's an image from the New York Times from the Wayback Machine, talking about how the earthquake shook uh, five northeastern states. Looks like it says back at um, 6.05 a.m. there was a foreshock of a magnitude 2.0. Any earthquake has the possibility of being a foreshock for something much larger. The article states that the strongest earthquake ever to hit New York area was in Brooklyn in 1884. It was estimated to be a magnitude 5.0. 204 people said they felt this magnitude 2.2. It was given an intensity level of 4 meaning it was felt indoors by many people, outdoors outdoors by a few. At night, some may have been woken up, dishes, windows, doors were rattling, and automobiles that were parked would have been rocking noticeably. Some of the felt reports sent in to EMSC. I really like it when you guys send in reports to EMSC. It says it sounded like a thunderbolt or a far away explosion. Another one said they were awake in bed. The rumble vibration and heard the rumble sounded like a thunderstorm or a big truck uh, pacing by. The dog sleeps with me and she lifted her head and looked at the window. Now this one says it was at 1.52 a.m. Did you feel the earthquake? In 1873 across the Hudson River there was a magnitude 4.9. Um, and again, I got that from Columbia University. That earthquake uh, evidently threw down chimneys. A little bit south on the Hudson River. Yeah, there's the location of the magnitude 5.2. Yeah, damage there also. There was another earthquake. Let's see. In 1895, a 4.3. That earthquake was located and determined by fire probably debris from fires that were started by the earthquake and there was aftershocks the 5.2 in 1884 um that one threw down chimneys and was felt from virginia all the way to maine so here's the felt reports that were sent in to uh, usgs let's see intensity level Four. Let's zoom in. Uh, Danbury, it looks like. And we'll come back out. Uh, let's see. The farthest to the west and south would have been... Uh, it doesn't give a name and they got it covered up. Um, we got Norristown. Uh, King of Persia. Willow Grove. Um, Haleysville and to the north or to the east excuse me is Trenton um, this is what's considered an interplate earthquake earthquakes that happen where they're not supposed to happen but they do happen because of the uh, um, Atlantic Ocean moving west um, slamming into the North American plate and that's why you got mountain building this earthquake was 6.4 miles in depth. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. No damage has been reported and no um, injuries. And it's considered a microquake. So, did you feel it? Please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Always be prepared. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.